Oh shoot! Hey guys, it's recording. <laughs> Oops. Hi. Uh, we switched sides again. Yeah, we did. Um, we're gonna do our show now. Here we go. But like we promised, it's mm -hmm. over frogs. Uh, yeah, that's right. We're doing frogs because yesterday we talked about tadpoles. Yep, and um, now you gotta know what to do with the frogs that yep. you you got now. So let's just let's just jump into it. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning, KCOZ, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Good Morning Commute. I'm Bethany, <laughs> and I'm Emma, and today we're gonna talk about how to raise frog legs. Ooh, let's talk about it. It's Friday, you know what I mean? It's Friday, but this episode is for Monday. For Monday. So we're gonna pretend <laughs> that it's Monday. Honestly, I just got weekend on the brain. I do too. My brain is like shutting off. It's like good night. Mm -hmm. It's like good night. Uh, um, let's talk right here. Hey guys. Happy Monday. Yeah, happy Monday. Um, I am saying goodbye to the weekend. Uh, may it rest in peace. But <sighs> this is still a fresh week and I should make the most of it. No, that's the spirit, Emma. That's really the spirit. What did you do this weekend? I worked and I volunteered at, um, a little, um... Co conference, women's conference called Pure Joy. Mm hmm. Yeah, I remember you had said something about that. That's cool. So it went well. You went to a. Oh, yeah, it was really good. That's good. It was great. Uh, I handed out t shirts. That's awesome. It was pretty Aww. cool. Uh, what like about fun. you? You went to Women of Joy, right? Yeah, Women of Joy was awesome. Like, really great speakers. Um, Andisa did a concert Saturday night. She's, she's incredible. She's so she's good. So cool. She's so much fun. Yeah, I, she I is. saw her at Winter Jam too. Um, you did? Yeah. Her, she would probably that? recognize you. Oh, you think? I probably she probably, she did. probably did. Yeah. Um, and you got to spend time with your family, right? Yeah, that was fun. Uh, two of my aunts, um, their sisters, uh, my aunt Irene and my aunt Rita, came up, and they brought my sister Emily, who I love very much. Aw, I love her too. Yeah, it she's was great. She's incredible. It was a lot of fun. It was fun just hanging out with them. So it was a good weekend, but awesome. now it's Monday. Yeah, I've got to make the most of what we've got going on right here, mm -hmm. which is also, uh, um, and making the most of, of it also means that we need to celebrate what day it is. Yep. Um, <laughs> that so, took me a hot minute. No, you good, bro. Uh, so, uh, let's see here. For uh, April 8th, 2019, it is National All Is Ours Day. I don't know what I that looked means. it up. I looked it up, bro. It, oh. uh, National All Is Ours Day can be looked at as a time to reflect on all of the beauty of nature and all the wonderful things in life. Wow. Mm. That is really sweet. What a beautiful holiday. Yeah, that's really we cute. We should do this every day. We should, yeah. All nature. Day, every day. I love nature. That's right. And then, um, it's also National Impanda Day. Impanada. In it's it's a Panada? fried, it's like a fried, almost like a calzone looking type thing, and it's got meat inside of it. Meat? Yeah, I don't know what culture it is, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, it sounds good. Am hmm. I saying that right? Empanada? Empanada, yeah, you It are. looks like Empanda. Yeah, but there's no, I don't know, but it's also National Zoo Lovers Day. <gasps> I know what that one means. Yeah, it, I've been to a zoo. It's for people who love the zoo. Yeah. It's time for you to um, hit up the zoo. Um, we have a zoo, a little zoo here. It's the um, Promised Land Zoo. Oh yeah, I haven't been to that one. It's pretty cute looking though on the posters. If you don't go there, is the closest one in St. Louis? Um, well, there's one in Eureka Springs, I think. Oh, you're right. But I, is it the same as? I don't know. I don't actually know. I just see signs for it as you're like driving through Eureka Springs and stuff. Oh. Um, yeah. And gotcha. so I don't know if it's in Eureka Springs or if it's advertising for the one that's in Branson. I'm actually not sure. So hmm. there's zoos out there and it's a great day to go to one. Yeah. Or you could make your own zoo in your own yard. Um, you could just order a chimpanzee online. Um, or, you know, you could just have a standard zoo with uh, rabbits and uh dogs <gasps> or you can make a frog zoo a frog zoo oh my a goodness what a segue yeah you could make a frog zoo if you want um by you know raising them from 
uh, tadpoles to frogs. And I, I don't know, there's just something about um, raising it from it when it, you know, when it was like a, it's a baby. Because then you become then its mommy. Then there's like a connection, yeah. Or it's daddy, and yeah. it's it's a, a beautiful experience. It is, yeah. And people are going to come and pay good money to see your frogs. Yeah, aww. So the reason why we're even talking about frogs is because on Friday we did an episode on how to raise tadpoles. Uh-huh. And we thought, well, now that you've got these tadpoles all raised up, how do you... Uh, what are you going to do with them? ...care for the frogs that yeah. they have become? Mm-hmm. So today's episode is all about how to raise frogs. That's right, because we don't want to leave you high and dry with these little frogs everywhere. These froglets, you got to know how to take them. care of them. Froglets. Yeah. Froglets, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and jump into here. Um, we... We are using WikiHow again. They had mm-hmm. some great tips on um, the tadpole stuff for uh-huh. Friday. They did. And now they have some good tips for raising frogs. And then after we explain how to care for adult frogs, uh, we just thought it would be cool if you guys learned about the different types of frogs. Mm. Maybe frogs that you can look for in the future, you know, future yeah. tadpoles and stuff like that. So we found another website called animalsake.com yeah. that it told us all about different types of frogs that we just want to share with you. But first, let's jump into how to care for adult frogs. Let's do it. So the very first thing, um, you need to find out the needs of your frog species before you acquire the animal. So um, so I guess this is like if you didn't grab them as a tadpole. Um, mm. If you're actually going out to your local pet smart or wherever, you're buying a specific kind of frog, you need to figure out what that frog needs in order to live. Yeah, because I know like some frogs, like tree frogs, they, they climb on trees. Other yeah. frogs are water frogs and they need water. Yeah, so you're some, exactly right. Some are toads, they like dirt. Ooh. You know, some like warmth, some like cold. You know, you, you gotta yeah. figure out what's best for They're your different. Kind of frog. Yeah, you can't just say all frogs are the same. No. No, that's not true. That's not right. Mm-mm. That's not, no. It's just like how not all people are the same. That's beautiful, Emma. Hmm. <laughs> frogs yeah. are the new people. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? No. Okay, no. Wrong message. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, tip two on how to care for adult frogs is learn whether your frog lives on land or in water or in both. Pretty okay. much what we just said. Yeah, we just said that. That's yeah. Funny. So just like figure out. Um, you can't just assume that they're just gonna want a rock to sit on. They might you know, be sad. They might want to swim all the time. You just gotta figure out what this type of frog needs. You also need to find a glass or clear pet tank. Yeah, that's how you can keep your frog nice and safe and um, not hopping all over your house. That's right. Um, and then you're going to want to maintain the tank's temperature and humidity. Yeah, because like we said, different frogs need different things. Maybe some frogs want it warmer, some frogs want it colder, you know. Yeah. you got to figure that out. So, and then you got to maintain it. you got to yeah. make sure that that temperature is steady. Exactly. And the like, humidity in the tank is uh, consistent. Yep, because you need a healthy baby in there. Absolutely. That's good. Um, so here are some tips on how to um, uh, take care of your your uh, clear plastic pet tank thing. Um, you know, keep, keep the temperature and the humidity um, consistent. But you also need to cover the bottom of the tank with natural material. Oh, okay, yeah. That's so um, you're not going to want to just put some sour cream bowls you know, no, that's like not very natural. Containers no, in no, there. no, yeah. You're probably going to want some stones, um, maybe some sand of some sort. Sand is cool. Some natural materials, maybe some moss. Um, just figure out what your little guy needs, what's going to make him happy. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to want to provide an ultraviolet light if necessary. If they mm-hmm. like the warmth, if they want to sunbathe, um, they're going to need that ultraviolet light. Yeah, some frogs might really need that. They might just need uh, that light um, to make them feel more at home. I don't right. honestly know the benefits of ultraviolet light. I honestly on don't frogs. either. I mean, it's gonna keep them warm, but warm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, you can also, well, you also need, need to provide. Yeah, you need to do this. Clean water and change it regularly. Yeah, Definitely. change that water regularly. You don't want your little froggy making a duty in the water and it's just floating around Mm. you don't want that they don't want to swim in that that's gross that's sad um and even if they aren't swimming frogs they need to have clean water to drink 
You're right. Clean water, you know, and sometimes they can get, like, grass in it and stuff like that. You need to clean that out. Exactly. Yeah, so whether they're they're living in it or drinking it, it needs to be clean. Needs to be clean. It's kind of just, like, insulting if you don't. If you make them... That's so nice. ...swim in dirty water. Poor guy, that's it's insulting. Not cool, not cool. They're better off in the wild <laughs> if you don't clean it. Yes, that's true. Honestly. Um, so, you also need to add plants or branches if necessary. Them to hop up on. Yeah, they can climb around on it. climb up, to, to climb up there, mm-hmm. feel all high and mighty on their yeah. stick. That's funny. <laughs> and then they just like plants because they're, you know, outdoor animals, so. That's right, they yeah. They plant. They're going to want some plants. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you're going to want to choose a selection of appropriate live Live food, sorry. Live food. Live food, like, yeah. Uh, like, like grasshoppers, worms, worms uh, mosquito. I mean, do do frogs eat mosquitoes? I don't know. Oh, I. They don't eat flies. Know. Oh, I've seen the movies. Yeah, in the, in the, the shows mo- where they the eat movies, the flies. They eat flies. They got flushed away. They yeah, they're always eating flies in that movie. They eat flies. They just like take their tongue and go. Definitely. So give them some flies, you know, and I'm sure you can find out more of what your specific type of frog eats, you know, online or at Petco and stuff like that. So I'm sure different frogs eat different things. So check that out. Definitely. Yeah. And you also can coat the food with calcium and vitamin supplements for yeah. amphibians. That's really good. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess if it's a live creature... It would be Put more calcium difficult. calcium on them. It would be kind of difficult to do that if they're alive. Um, but I'm sure if there's a will, there's a way. But I've, like, seen people use, like, dried um, flies or, like, dried grasshoppers. Yeah. And then they would, like, roll them in, like, a calcium powder or something. Ew. And give them to them. Um, but I think it'd be more difficult to do it with the if they're, like, jumping around. Mm. I don't know. That would be rough. I don't know if... I don't know. That would be hard. I know if it's just like a worm or something, you could just sprinkle a little calcium on that. I don't yeah, know. you're right. That's a good point. Chop that. Mm-hmm. That'd be good. All right. Yum, yum. And you also need to choose feeding times according to the age and climate. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, mm-hmm. this kind of reminds me of what we talked about on Friday um, with the tadpoles. We were surprised that during the metamorphosis stage, um, you're not supposed to feed the tadpoles. So, um, I mean, this could be similar for the frogs. Like, there's mm-hmm. scheduled feeding times you might have to wait um, to feed them. Like, they, they don't just eat just like we do. No, no. As they grow and develop, their their eating habits change, and you have, have to take yeah, note of that. Different you got to choose good times for them. And it also says, and climate, so maybe climate also affects what time they eat. I'm not sure. Exactly. Like, oh, if they're, like, night frogs maybe yeah yeah i don't really know though yeah i mean maybe they eat only in the most chilly time of the day like high noon no i'm just kidding (laughs) yeah Yeah. so check that out before you get your frog and then you also need to know how to handle your frog that's right yeah figure out how your frog wants to be handled um, I remember reading the uh, tadpole article when we got to froglets, and they said that the froglets don't want to be handled, but maybe when they're older, they'll be more inclined to, like, deal with that. Yeah, they, they you can't be picking them up if they don't want to be picked up, especially if they're toxic frogs. Oh, wow, you're right. Then you cannot right. handle them. No, you can't. That's bad. Don't handle the frogs don't if they're Don't handle the toxic frogs. You don't want to die. That would be bad for you. Um, it would be really bad for you. So look that up. Look that up. Figure out how to handle your little baby. And, you know, maybe if you've got a really friendly frog, you can, like, put them in your side pocket on your shirt um, and take them to the store with you. Um, Just be cute like that. Yeah, that is pretty cute. Have a little frog in your pocket. That would be cool. That's a cool way to handle them. But um, that's pretty much it for um, how to take care of your frog. Um, And now we're using the website animalsafe.com. To talk about the different types of frogs out there, um, because like we said earlier, all frogs are created equal. Oh. <laughs> That's not <laughs> what I meant. All frogs are 
different. Oh. Oh, well, yes, they are all different. But they're and created so, equal. I don't know. Well, we're just going to introduce different types of frogs, and then you can decide for yourself what frog is best. This is also a big reminder of our dragon episode. Did you remember that one? Oh, the dragon one was so informative. <laughs> it, was it was really so good. It was so fun. It was so much fun. And yeah. we talked about different types of dragons. Yeah. And what makes them Which special. one we would want... I think we should do that with the toads too. Let's do it. Yeah. Frogs. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll pick. We're gonna on the way along the way. We're gonna pick which frogs we would want. All right. So let's just jump into this. Uh, Again, this is from animalsake.com, and they have more frogs there. But we just picked seven to introduce to you guys. So Mm -hmm. jumping in. Uh, The first frog on here is the midwife toad and painted frogs. Okay. Cool. So, um, these, uh, the male midwife toad actually carries eggs on its back, and that's part of why, um, they've got that name. That's a pretty cool, like, that's cool. And in the picture, it's funny because it's like a frog with all these little bumps on that's its bottom. Gross. Yeah. That kind of really grosses me out. But, I mean, it's babies. It's little baby frogs. It's babies. And so that's cool. And then there's also painted frogs. I've heard of those. They're pretty. I but aren't they toxic? I'm pretty sure Probably. painted frogs are toxic. Is it like is there like red and blue? Well, I know that like a sign for toxic frogs is their bright colors. So yeah. if a frog is like really colorful painted. or painted, yeah. that sounds pretty toxic to me. Yeah, so. it does. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, so that's the midwife and the painted frogs. Um, the painted frogs are really cute, but I don't know if I'm gonna pick that one. I don't know. I'm not gonna pick the midwife toad either because no, that that's a little out. wild. Yeah. So, I, let's just keep reading. We'll keep going. Yeah. And then we've got the screeching frogs, or squeakers, and they produce high-pitched calls. So, these frogs just like to scream. Oh, just like that. <laughs> We're making frog noises. It's probably like that. I don't know what it's like, actually. We could probably find YouTube videos we or something could. about it. Yeah. Um, sounds wild, though. Screeching frogs. Hmm. Screeching frogs, yeah. And then we've got the fire belly toads, um, and they are toxic. They have red on their stomachs, and so that's a big sign that they're toxic. So you can't hold these ones, but they're cool to look at. Um, and they need homes, too, so, uh, yeah. I mean, they would be a cool addition to your family. Yeah, they would be, yeah. They'd Just be pretty don't cool. touch them. Just don't touch them. And then we've got the saddleback toads toads and they are very small oh, i think goodness. i might pick this one yes the picture of this one was mega cute it was sitting on a person's thumbnail, like oh. on their thumbnail. it was just sitting there it was so cute and it was gray just okay gray i toad. want that one really cute um and obviously you can hold them if it was sitting on the guy's hand so that's yeah fun. that's sweet oh, and that goodness. is the saddleback toad cute. so remember that one there's also true toads. Um, this just sounds like your average toad. They've got dry, warty skin. Ew. Um, likes burrowing in the cold I feel dirt. bad for saying ew. Because it's just a toad. It's just a toad. Like, I'm not, I should, I revoke my ew. Sorry, oh, guys. okay. Sorry, true toads. She yeah, was just sorry. kidding. You have dry, warty skin, but you know what? To each his own. Yeah, she was just kidding. Oh, sorry. I got a yawn there. Huh, Mondays. What are you going to do? Mondays, you know? Anyway, uh, another frog on here is the uh, glass frog. Ooh. Or the leaf frog. Oh. Um, oh, my goodness. Both of these sound super cute. But the glass frog gets its name because um, some of them have transparent skin on that their bellies. That is so cool. So you can see their intestines and crap. That is really neat. That is so cool. Like, I think that's cool. Almost a little creepy. But also really neat. But very cool. God is awesome. He made Yeah, a, a I was actually just thinking frog. that. Isn't That's it crazy really cool. how like much time he spent? Like we just think of him as like just frogs. Mm-hmm. But there's so many different types. There's different types with all these different cool like things that make them unique, like having transparent bellies and stuff like that. That's really cool. That's really and then cool. leaf frogs, they're super cute. They're green. And they're cute. I actually Aww. might pick this one. If I if I was gonna pick a yeah. frog, I'd pick a leaf frog. That sounds pretty cute. cute. They're cute. And then our last frogs on here are the Darwin's frogs. Uh Uh-huh, and they've Um, got green or brown colors with dark undersides. mm -hmm. I think uh, Darwin found them in the Galapagos, and that's how they got their name. Ooh. Um, And so that's super cool. Hmm. They're pretty cool frogs. 
But uh, yeah, I think Pretty I'm still cool. gonna stick with the leaf frogs. Yeah, I think I'm still gonna stick with the um, saddleback toad, the really tiny baby one, so that I can train him to sit on my nose. Mm. Walk around in the grocery store with my little guy on my nose. Oh, that'd be cute. That'd yeah. be really cute. Pretty cute. And, uh, well, I guess that wraps up all the different yeah. types of frogs. All the different tips for carrying and different guys that you can pick from. So now you definitely know a lot about frogs. If, if Friday's mm -hmm. episode didn't teach you a lot, this one definitely did about frogs. So I think you guys are ready. If you guys want a frog, I think you yeah. have all the tips necessary to raise this, uh -huh. one on your own. Yep. So. Awesome stuff That's here. Sweet. Yeah, really good episode. Um, a lot of holidays to celebrate. Well, actually, just three. But you can uh, pick how you want to celebrate today, just like we will. And uh, before we wrap things up for um, today, we need to give you a little hearty goodbye. Yeah, let's jump into today's quotes. Let's see. Ricky Gervas, if I'm saying his name right, that would be cool. Huh. Ricky Gervas. Um, we think he said it best when he said, Mondays are fine. It's your life that sucks. <laughs> oh. Mondays are fine. Thanks. It's your life that sucks. Huh, that's so funny. I've been complaining about it being Monday all episode. <laughs> wow, we suck. I'm just tired. That's what it is. I am I'm too. Tired, I'm just sleepy, tired. Busy yeah. weekend. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, exactly. Busy school week ahead of me. So I just, oh, I'll try to get some Ooh. rest tonight. Yep, me uh, too. Mm -hmm. But first, I've got to enjoy this yeah, Monday. Gotta that's right, me. yeah. And we'll be back to. tomorrow all fresh and ready um, for the day. And uh, But, you know, before we head out today, we need to give you a little Wilford. Here he is. I have just like I, got I can't tired, like I'm bro. just so tired like I my voice like I don't e I don't even know how to like talk. Oh <laughs> bro, I don't know what it is, guys. I think also we bounce off of each other's energy. So if one of us is a little tired, yeah. then the other one is like Whoa. same. Same. Like, so I'm sorry. I think I was pretty. No, tired it was me. Today. No, no, no. I think I, I just could get distracted too because you look so pretty. Well. <laughs> Not in front of the YouTubers. <laughs> just kidding. That was super sweet. I think you're really pretty too. Thank you. Also, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but look, I'm wearing these headphones now, and it makes everything sound all echoey and weird. I know. Same. I was wearing them for like a little bit. I was and just kind of playing. Weird. You know, I was just kind of playing with them. It was like weirding me out. Yeah, it was pretty weird. But I like listening to it, and I'm going to listen to Wilford actually with the headphones on. So let's listen. There he is. And if you'll obey these simple rules and do, do these, these simple, simple things, things, I promise oh, you, with your head on, you're gonna choke. Better. Take them off. I want right. you to choke. Stop. Stop choking. Time. Have a good day. You're doing it. You're choking. Oh. I'm dead.